This is Valor TV. We're here at Roskilde Festival 2013. Ping! Hey, my name is Lars Petersen. Uh, I'm the boss of uh, all this uh, graffiti painting that goes on at Roskilde Festival. Right now we are in the graffiti workshop, which is an area where all the regular festival people can come and they can try to spray. They can paint their own piece. We have a free wall and free paint. So if you want to give uh, graffiti a try, you can come here and paint all you want. Besides that, we also decorate the whole festival area with some of the best uh, professional graffiti artists from all over the world. They come here and paint the whole area for about a week before it opens. And by then we've painted about one kilometer of the best graffiti in the world. And we open to the public at the same time as the stages open with the music. We have about 100 artists from all over the world. And we have this graffiti workshop for everybody. Lyt! Hele verden drejer rundt. I'm a graffiti artist myself, I make a living from uh, painting graffiti and organizing graffiti and I've been doing this project at Roskilde Festival for the past 15 years so in some ways you can say that Roskilde Festival has also been my education We are all volunteers here at the festival so I do this for free, no one gets paid to do it but uh, what I do down here is also what I do the rest of the year but the rest of the year I try to get paid for doing the same things in the Nordic countries, we have a lot of spare time. We are a rich society, we have a lot of money, we have a lot of welfare. So typically, people just need to work for eight hours every day or go to school for eight hours every day. Then they make a sleep for eight hours a day and then we have eight hours left. And in those eight hours, we often do something creative or something physical. So we are doing a lot of sports, we're doing a lot of culture and we're often quite good at it because we have so much spare time on our hands. And I think Nordic culture is something very solid, something very clean, something very pure and something that the artists are really good at. We had a really good practice this year, the weather was with us, we had some amazing artists from all over the world, we had people from pretty much every continent and we look forward to trying to do it even better next year. At the Orange States there's a big uh, a tribune that you can stand on to watch the show and at the back of this there's a big wall. The wall is about 100 meters long and two and a half meters high. And traditionally we always have either one artist or a group of artists that decorate this wall and do sort of the main wall of the festival. And then this year we uh, decided to invite Ron English to come and do this. And the idea was that Ron should come and do some of his uh, trademark uh, poster art that he's known for for the past 30 years. Ron decided to do a series of posters specifically for the festival about the music lineup at the festival and about what goes on at the festival. And with that he created a site-specific uh, series of uh, 60 posters. Uh, in build format and now it's on display for the four days that the festival goes on. Yeah. He left us with this uh, t-shirt which is uh, the star skull that he's known for in a special uh, Roskilde uh, running this edition. Well, he was here for a full week and uh, I, I think he really had a good time here and he was able to put his uh, trademark uh, footprint on the festival. It's not only a music festival anymore, it's also a, an arts and culture festival that's growing rapidly every year. Du mærker det ikke, at den må dreje sig om noget, man ikke kan regne ud med matematik.